Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. This hadith is in regards to the signs of a hypocrite. Ayatul Munafiki Salasun Ida Haddasa Kadaba Waida Wada Akhlafa Wada Tumina Khana. The signs of a hypocrite are three. When he speaks, he lies. When he makes a promise, he breaks it. And when he is trusted, he betrays the trust. This hadith can be found in Muslim and Bukhari. A true Muslim should abstain from these evil acts at all costs. Nifaq, which is hypocrisy, is of two types. Nifaq itaqadi, which is hypocrisy related to belief. This is the greatest uh, form of hypocrisy. Uh, for example, a person can outwardly show that they are a believer, whereas inside they are a disbeliever. This would take them out of the fold of faith. Secondly, there is nifaq amali, which is hypocrisy related to actions only. Although this is a lesser form of hypocrisy, uh, this uh, should be abstained from as it can lead to hypocrisy of uh, belief. Uh, this, this hadith mentioned refers to the second time, uh, type of hypocrisy. So if a person were to commit these actions, they would be considered a hypocrite in action, but not a hypocrite in belief. We are instructed to speak the truth at all times, even if it is detrimental to ourselves. Before making a promise, we should consider whether we, we are able to fulfill the promise, otherwise it will be considered a sin. It will only be considered a sin if we knew from the beginning that we will not be able to fulfill the promise. Or if we break the promise and we, uh, we, if we break the promise without valid reason. However, if we break the promise with, with valid reason and we had sincere intentions from the beginning, then this will be not considered as a sin. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Holy Quran in Surah 17 verse 34, keep your promises. Indeed, regarding the promises, you will be asked.